talking NFL Coach of the Year odds. Arda, as we take a look at who the coaches are that are most likely to win NFL Coach of the Year, Kevin Stefanski obviously did such a wonderful job last year with the Browns, 13-1, to the shortest odd, a quartet of coaches at 15 to 1, including both in LA, Sean McVay and his former defensive coordinator, Brandon Staley, now the head man with the Chargers, Brian Flores, Shanahan at 15 to 1 as well with Miami and San Francisco. And there's Frank Wright with a new QB that he knows well from his days in Philly, Carson Wentz at 16 to 1. So, Arda, I'll open it up to you first and foremost. If you had to at this early juncture in the summer, well before we've gotten to training camp, kind of handicap who some of your favorite plays may be for NFL Coach of the Year, whether the name is on that list or someone further down that's a long shot. Who are you thinking about making a play on for 2021? The two stats that I'd like to present to people thinking about uh, who to pick here is that it's very rare that a coach gets the NFL Coach of the Year honors two years in a row. So though Stefanski might deserve it if the Browns have another great season, it's very rare that history repeats itself back to back for this award in the NFL. The other thing to keep in mind is that no coach has won this award with a, with a worse record than 11 and 5 since 2009. So keep in mind that the team that you're selecting, the coach that you're selecting, you're expecting them to have a very good season with a favorable record. Now, I personally like Sean McVay on this list just because he's a quarterback-minded coach. He's glowed up a lot of quarterbacks in his career, and now he has a new quarterback to work with in Matthew Stafford coming to the Rams. I feel like that could be a match made in heaven for the Rams and a favorable situation for both. So if I'm looking at it in the way too early, category Tyler that might be a good one to look at at 15 to 1. Yeah Arda I don't think you are aware of this but I am a Rams fan it goes back to being from St. Louis and my time spent watching that team when they won a Super Bowl in 99 greatest show on turf yes they left my hometown but I still root for the players not the owner so much but the players I am a Ram <laughs> fan and I do think there is some legitimacy to Sean McVay because if Matt Stafford and the Rams have this if Stafford has this breakthrough and leads them to 12 13 wins and the Rams are a one or two seed in the NFC especially coming out of that difficult NFC West I think there's going to be a lot of momentum towards the narrative that Sean McVay got his quarterback and turned Stafford into the best version we've seen of himself in the National Football League so I, I like that pick I also think Brandon Staley a guy who coached under McVay in a new spot if the Chargers surprise in the AFC West we saw Stefanski as a first-year coach do it last year. I think there's a lot of steam behind Staley, who uh, will have that added benefit of never having coached before. So the expectations may be lower, and if he exceeds them wildly, I like that bet. Mine? I'm going way down the list at 30 to 1. I can't believe that Mike Zimmer has these odds, Arda, especially if Green Bay does not have Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback. Boy, that NFC North is wide open for the Vikings. We know they have the offensive firepower with Jefferson Thielen, Cousins, and Dalvin Cook. Now, Mike Zimmer, who's known for his defense, irate with what happened last year on that side of the ball, invests heavily in the defense. Daniil Hunter should be back, and they could win that division, be a one or two seed in the NFC because of how weak the NFC North is. And boy, I tell you, Mike Zimmer at 30-1, to I think, has a lot of value because I expect him to be an 11 or 12 win team, especially with fans returning to the seats at that home stadium where they have such a great home field advantage. So you like McVay. I love McVay. I also like Mike Zimmer at 30-1. to as a potential long shot with the Vikings turning things around in 2021. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.